first thing you'll see are the little sheets of Teflon, which everyone calls cookie sheets, that their real name is Cold Plate Protective Covers. And we use those uh, whenever we do any black box change outs. You can slide it between the black box and a cold plate so that when you're pulling it out, you don't ding the cold plate. We also use them to tape over wire trays so that when you're pulling out a, a black box, you're not chafing the wire, so slide along this instead. So, we, you know, we use them for two, two purposes. So we got three hoses. Yeah, and we can get them separated. <laughs> I'll tell you about them. The Orbiter has uh, two basic sizes of plumbing. There is a quarter inch nominal inside diameter plumbing, and then there's three eighths inch. Okay, the quarter inch plumbing you will find in the potable water system. The three eighths inch plumbing you will find in your wastewater system, and in your coolant loops are also three eighths. You want to think of it that way. So these, these are your two hoses that are for use with the potable water system. And there's a variety of QDs that we can access throughout the three module, and we'll look at those in a couple seconds. Okay, your other uh, hose is a yellow-yellow hose, because we got a couple of yellow bands. And well, this one, you can see it fairly well. This one's rubbed out. And those are 3 8 inch uh, nominal female QDs, and we can use those to mate with wastewater system for uh, it's possible. We don't have any known proce uh, written procedures to do it, but we could uh, connect up to the coolant loops with that as well. Perhaps if you had a leak and wanted to repressurize or refill the water loop you know, after fixing the leak, we can do it that way. And we need to do that in all four corners. Charlie, you got the ACCU bypass connector assembly? Yes, right here. Okay. We need that. We need to connect your wrench. We got the speed handle already. We need gray tape, torque wrench, and a quarter to three eighths inch depth. over those studs and there's a couple pieces of velcro to hold it in place and that is what separates your cabin air from your ab bay air system so that's that's what's keep that's keeping debris etc out of your ab bay and, and providing a bit of a thermal barrier between the two you can see back there we have an accu module mocked up and it's easy to spot because it's the only thing we have back there okay it says disconnect Cable. Okay. 81V77W. Are we have a flashlight? Um, or if there's any chance that I can see when we identify the number of the out of it's from J3. Mm -hmm. Shine the movie light back there. That would be can we assume light. this is powered off? Yeah. You need to unhook uh, J3 and J4. Yeah. Okay. W eight Papa three three three. No way I know. But it's label. I got label P. But it's label P three three four. P three three. Yeah. Okay. We got the one off J four. And there was a sequential number for three. Okay. Okay. And it says take the ACCU bypass connector assembly to wire tray. It shows a picture of that back over here. 
tape it to the wire tray? It's got to tape down, but it's after. I think you'd like be better to put the, the connectors, connectors on, on first and then tape yeah, it That down. seems like it. Okay. We'll be hot wiring just the commander's ATU and the pilot's ATU. Mm -hmm. There's also a procedure in the book where you do a half bypass. Yeah. And that. what that does is you would wire just, it's just hot wiring one of those two ATUs and you use that as a backup. So you got one good ACCU, you use that on probably the commander's ATU. So uh, Charlie, both you and, uh, and just as you tape you that both on. be on that same ATU. And then if that ACCU were to fail, then you'd switch to your ATU, which is hot wired, and that would give you some combat. And, uh, and that's pretty much it. Is uh, tape it down, install the thermal debris trap, and the locker, stow the tools, and then the rest is all calm uh, switches and stuff. Okay, that's here. And the locker. Uh, are we going to do the turnbuckle? Or, uh, um, yeah, let's let's go ahead and take a look at the turnbuckle since we have the locker. Okay. Feel like a doctor. Oh, you you want me just left a bunch of tools on. behind the clothes <laughs> out. Turn. Oh, we got the locker still out. Yeah, inventory your tools. Make sure you get them all back out of the air bay. Sponge inside the incision. Let's go ahead. I remember this was always great. If we get a 316 Allen tool, we should be able to uh, do that a lot more easily. Yeah, right here. There you go. Uh, right there. You go. <laughs> Probably not gonna have clearance to turn that speed handle back there, right? Want a driver? Might have to use that driver handle. Okay.
it in there? Yeah. Okay. Can I do that? Yeah, you gotta extend it. Okay. Pull it out. Let's go. Yeah. Right. Like that. You can kind of put your knee in there. There you go. I don't know, I didn't put it on. Parachute with that his head. Oh, is that right? Oh, no. I didn't notice that. No, I just sat there and let him, <laughs> let him push it and let him do it. Oh, so did it? Not too bad, but it's good. If you were shorter, you probably could do it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it won't turn on me. Okay. You probably, huh?